Hello! In this tutorial, you'll learn how to enable Wufoo integration and add Wufoo forms to pages on your intranet. Just like filling out a paper form, you can use online forms to easily collect information from intranet users. You can use a form to conduct a survey, collect vacation requests, or find out what your colleagues plan to bring to an upcoming potluck lunch. Wufoo is an online form builder that is integrated with your ThoughtFarmer Internet software. You can take Wufoo out for a free test drive and easily design a form with various information fields. To start, go to wufoo.com to create a Wufoo account. Once you're in, create a new form. Add a form title, a form description if you wish, and multiple fields to collect the information you need. You can choose from a variety of field types, making it easy for people to fill out the form quickly and accurately. When you're finished, save your form and tell Wufu how you want to be notified when people fill out your form. Back on your internet, you need to enable Wufu integration. To do this, go to the ThoughtFarmer Administration panel. In the Content section, click on Wufu Integration. First, click Enable on the Wufu Integration page. Then enter your Wufu subdomain. To find your subdomain, when you are signed into your Wufu account, look at the URL. Your subdomain is the text between the forward slashes and the word Wufu. Enter this text in the Wufu subdomain field. Next, you need to find your Wufu API token. To do this, go to your Wufu account. Under a form you've created, click Code. Then, in the top right, click API information. Copy the API key and paste it into the Wufu API token field on your intranet's Wufu integration page. If you want only administrators to be able to insert Wufu forms, select the checkbox. If you leave it unselected, all users will be able to insert Wufu forms when editing a page. Next, click Test Settings. In the dialog, click Verify. If you see a green check mark, you have successfully connected to the Wufu subdomain. If you see a red X, the connection was not successful. Close the dialog and make sure your subdomain and API token information is correct. Then try testing again. Once the test is successful, click Save Changes at the bottom of the page. Now you're ready to insert a form. Create a new page or go into edit mode on the page you want the form to appear on. Put your cursor where you want the form to go on the page and then click the Insert Wufu button. When you click the Insert Wufu button, a dialog appears that shows all the Wufu forms that have been created using the Wufu account that is integrated with your intranet. Click on the form you want to insert and click the Insert button in the bottom right of the dialog. A placeholder will appear in the Rich Text Editor to show where your form will be on the page. Once you're done editing the page, click Publish or Save. When someone visits the page, they can easily fill out and submit the form. You'll be notified of the new form entry by the means you selected, by email, text message, or through another application integrated with Wufu. You can view your entries all at once and analyze them by logging into your Wufu account. Try out Wufu Forms in ThoughtFarmer to see just how easily you can collect all kinds of information from your internet users.